Welcome to the edge of the galaxy. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Scott, and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. Today, we are talking all about The Outer Worlds, the brand new first person RPG created by Obsidian and published by Private Division. We are incredibly excited about this new game, and we thought we would share five reasons why you definitely need to be excited about The Outer Worlds. Also, if you are excited for The Outer Worlds like we are, or this video makes you excited, definitely give the video a like and do subscribe because we do plan on giving The Outer Worlds the full Fudge Muppet treatment, including build videos, guides, lore videos, the works. So if that sounds like something you want to see, then hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into the five main reasons why you should be excited for The Outer Worlds. The Outer Worlds seems to be the game we all wanted but didn't get. As much as we have all heard to death about Fallout 76 and the whole Bethesda circus, it's pretty relevant because fans of Bethesda have always been hanging out for their new open world RPGs, a new Fallout or a new Elder Scrolls, hell, really any game in that open world RPG style. That is, until Fallout 76, a buggy broken mess, came out and put a sour taste in everyone's mouth. So faith in Bethesda is at an all time low. In comes Obsidian, announcing The Outer Worlds, a first-person single-player RPG ready to fill the void. For ages, all we fans have wanted is another great single-player RPG, and the industry trends seem to put years between each release, even from different companies. So, there was no better medicine to cure 76-itis than the announcement of The Outer Worlds. It's also been fantastic because they've been so transparent and open with both information and gameplay, giving us a really good idea of of what the game actually is. The Outer Worlds really seems to be delivering on what fans of the genre want, rather than having microtransactions and multiplayer ham-fisted together and inserted uncomfortably where the sun don't shine. This could be the Fallout New Vegas 2 we all wanted. Way back, Obsidian created one of the most beloved games in the Fallout franchise, Fallout New Vegas. It came filled with RPG complexity, choices, characters, meaningful decisions, and it matched the tone of Fallout 1 and 2 while also continuing those stories through the world. And alongside that, there's a whole host of reasons it's great that you have surely heard before. It's put simply, a really good game. So you could understand the excitement excitement we had when we saw that not only is Obsidian the game company behind New Vegas creating The Outer Worlds, but also Tim Kaine and Leonard Boyarsky, two of the original creators of the Fallout franchise, are directing the project. Sounds like a match made in heaven. Both Tim Kaine and Leonard Boyarsky have had much experience with creating and working on fantastic RPGs, such as the early Fallout games, but also other famed RPG titles like Arcanum and Val Empire Bloodlines The Masquerade. It is really promising to see these two work together with the team at Obsidian who made New Vegas and also have their own experience with RPGs like Pillars of Eternity and going back even further they made one of my other favourite games of all time, Knights of the Old Republic 2, which by the way actually feels like a decent comparison to how I feel The Outer Worlds may turn out, since The Outer Worlds is not entirely open world but more like hubs of open sections on different planets, asteroids and space stations, it may feel more like KOTOR 2 which suits me just fine. Additionally, more positive news is the fact that Obsidian has been praising their publisher Private Division for being incredibly helpful beyond just funding the game and have said that they understand their vision for the Outer Worlds, which in a world of greedy publishers forcing developers to rush out shitty products filled with microtransactions, it is really nice to hear about a developer and publisher working so well with each other. Overall, Tim Kaine plus Leonard Boyarsky plus Obsidian plus Private Division seems like a really powerful combo and I have faith that they will pull off the Outer Worlds brilliantly. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an actual RPG on the way. RPG stands for Role Playing Game, a game that allows you to take on a role, whether that be Mage or Warrior, Good or Evil, Imperial or Stormcloak, NCR or Legion, Telvanni or Redoran, Thalmor Double Agent or Straight Up Good Guy Dragonborn. The ability to come up with your own character, your own backstory, and define your character through the choices you make, the relationships you forge, and the way you play are hallmarks of a fantastic RPG. 
The Outer Worlds is setting out first and foremost to be a fantastic RPG. In both the trailer and interviews with the developers, the term player-driven story is repeated again and again, implying that you will be able to determine your path, you will be able to decide the fate of things, rather than following a predetermined path made by the developer. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. RPGs are my favorite genre of game because I feel like they highlight the advantage of the gaming medium so well, which is interactivity. When you go out and read a book or watch a movie, you are following the path or story that the director or author has set out for you. Same with more linear story games, you are following the path chosen for you. However, in RPGs that focus on choices and consequences, you have an experience unique to you, an experience that you chose, and that's why I think it's so awesome. The best RPGs, in my opinion, give you the tools to live out the what-if scenario. What if I just killed everyone? What if I chose this side and then betrayed them? What if I stole this from him and gave it to her? It adds awesome replayability and it allows you to explore these awesome universes in so many ways. It's so often that these days a game calls itself an RPG just because you can pick abilities from three different skill trees or something. Well, you can pick different perks in Call of Duty, but that doesn't make the cut as an RPG. RPG's core is choice and consequence, and the reason I'm so excited about The Outer Worlds, and the reason you should be too, is that they are really honing in on this concept, player-driven story, choice, consequence, factions to join, companions to form relationships with, playstyles to use, different methods of achieving goals. Uh, I'm just really excited to see this game come into fruition. Reason number four to be excited is the fact that this is a brand new IP, a brand new universe, not a pre-existing franchise, which allows it to be taken at face value, it won't be stacked up against previous entries. It is usually the case that franchises can get burnt out, and there is either a drop in quality or change in vision that people don't agree with. Franchises often get hit with bloat that comes from its success and money-making potential leading investors wanting to squeeze the shit out of it. Look at Fallout 76, or the Star Wars sequels, or the fact The Hobbit is three movies. It kinda sucks that this happens most of the time. There are exceptions, but anyways, as to why you should be excited about this fact that it is not a pre-existing franchise is because it prevents any disappointment. It's a brand new universe with brand new lore and allows the developers to bring their creativity to the table and give their ultimate vision without having to adhere to the frame of an established franchise. Fans often feel betrayed or frustrated when developers and creators change the lore and tone of beloved franchises just so they can shoehorn their new vision in with a few familiar name, even if it doesn't fit. It's a sad trend with Bethesda, unfortunately. I have loved every single Elder Scrolls game from Bethesda Game Studios, but if you go back and analyze things, you'll see changes that come from a need to appeal to the masses rather than pursue their own artistic vision. In Daggerfall and Morrowind, Cyrodiil is described as this awesome jungle land with rust dragons, a Venice-like imperial city, and a rice-based economy. When Oblivion came out, it was much more generic, more Lord of the Rings feeling, inspired by the the success of the films at the time. Nords have always been described as a wildly different culture, Vikings on steroids in a harsh frozen land, but when we get to Skyrim they've been toned down and feel closer to what Cyrodiil was like. I love all those games, but the point I'm trying to make is that The Outer Worlds has the freedom to establish a tone and setting that it wants without having to live up to previous installments or preconceived notions about the world. So Obsidian has the chance to do whatever they want with a brand new universe. I'm excited to see what creativity they come up with. The final reason to be excited is that this game is coming out this year in 2019. There are other games like Cyberpunk 2077, which we are also really excited for, but the release date could be a while away and it's not announced. There is Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield announced, but just coming some time in the far future. The Outer Worlds is coming in 2019 and we will have our hands on it this year, which is awesome. The release date is not exact, but it's so refreshing to know that we'll actually get to play this game rather than hoping and wishing for this vague idea of a game that's coming in the next decade sometime. This year is gonna be a good one. So, are you excited for Outer Worlds? Are you pumped? 
you're G'd up, you're ready to play Obsidian's brand new game, well, stick around because we are ready to, and we are keen to dive into builds, guides, lore, and all that stuff when the game comes out, so do subscribe to Fudge Muppet for Outer Worlds content, alongside all our usual stuff. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You can check us out on social media, links below. My name is Scott, thanks again for watching, and I'll be back to nerd out with you again next time.